Art is something that's there in everybody, all of us. If you look at the Adivasi culture in India, everybody sings and everybody dances. I'm not talking about the displaced Adivasi population, but uh, undisplaced traditional Adivasi population. Everybody sings and everybody dances. In our middle class atmosphere, they say, oh, you can sing, but you can't dance. You can paint, but you can't sing. These distinctions are made right from family institutions to uh, school, college. And you feel that you can't do this, you can only do this. But art is something that everybody, uh, you know, live through every moment in life. Without art, human beings cannot survive. People have survived only through art. Survival is an art. That's the beginning that we have to recognize with. So filmmaking is only extension of that. Writing, poetry, literature, theater, designing, they are extension of it. But you, uh, we are uh, coming from uh, uh, every moment we are dealing with it. I wrote a poem long back called from, I don't know what is the name of the, I don't remember what is the name of the poem. It's called Breath to Breath. The concept was that. But you don't remember many things that you do. Concept was just this, that uh, when you are born, you breathe. You know, and, and you are in your mother's womb, you are very cosy, you know, very cosy atmosphere. Right? When you come out, you are <coughs> relating with breath for the first time. Uh, I am not talking about double series, red shankers, breath, you know, that, you know or you. Uh, I am talking about, it's a, you are relating with the air of the planet. And you don't like it, that's why you cry. <coughs> you don't like the breath. The first uh, interaction with this planet when you come out, it is uh, uh, a breath, air. You don't like it, that's why you cry. From there you get accustomed to the breath in this planet. Now, I met him uh, two, three days back. Actually, I feel uh, my breath and his breath is very similar. Actually. Many friends, I see that. But we grow old and or uh, whether you commit suicide or whether you die or an accident and, or you, anything happens, when you die. When you die, the last thing that you do is to cast for breath. Why? A breath which you hated, then you gasp for it. Your whole life is from breath to breath. So from this moment, from journey from breath to breath, you find creativity is indulgent it's within your breath at every moment. You don't, we don't recognize the fact that somebody is talking and somebody is having a good human relationship is art. Everything is art. <coughs> Everything in this science is art. Uh, everything is art. As far as I am concerned, your life is, the whole thing is art. Where does it come from? Where does art come from? Where does it come from? I, 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 uh, some people, uh, uh, old uh, art filmmakers used to say that I live cinema, I die cinema, I shit cinema, and I eat cinema, all that nonsense. I don't believe in all of that, you know. Filmmaking is only a part of life. You know, all arts are part of life. Look at Pune, if you are in Pune, just, uh, I, I come for a seminar, uh, something like 25 years back here, uh, there's a group who studied, you know, this Chakhi uh, grinding women community, they uh, had, uh, uh, a group had recorded something like 40,000 songs of one community in one saluka. They were illiterate women. But 40,000 songs. Uh, and from these songs, you could trace the history from 6th century, 7th century, 8th century, all that. 
We have always uh, uh, a tradition of communicating not through rational discourse actually or logical discourse. We communicate through songs and dances and uh, stories. We communicate whatever we are, uh, science and history, today is all songs and uh, stories for me. Uh, everything is story actually. History is only story actually. You know? And they make people believe that this is the fact. They made, made us believe a lot of things with the facts. You say ancient in Indian history, there's nothing like that. You say medieval Indian history, there's nothing like that. But we, they, we are caught all that. If you look at the uh, Wikipedia, you will find seven maps of ancient Indian history and medieval. No Shah Jahan, no Akbar, no Humyun has come to our piece of land in Kerala. At that time there was no Kerala also. India emerged at the time uh, something called East India Company. Before that there was no India. If you want, if you want to understand the history of India, it's uh, basically uh, Sindh which is the Turkish and the Arabians, they could not pronounce them. They since Indus Valley Civilization Act, you know, it came India later by the Europeans as such. You know. And what is the proof? With Harappa and Mohenjadaro, where is it? It's in Pakistan. So our history is in Pakistan. So we are, we are fed with all wrong notions actually, you know. There are hundreds of countries in this subcontinent, I would call it subcontinent, and hundreds of countries, 4,000 cultures as per the Anthropological Survey of India, over 4,000 cultures. And we communicated through songs and dances and uh, stories. And then it had philosophy, it had poetry, it had uh, uh, everything. Filmmaking is only one form where it combined many forms of arts. It's a very dangerous medium. What you are entering into is a very dangerous medium as well as very responsible creative medium. You know, uh, why I am saying this? If you use a gun, you shoot. How, how far the bullets can travel, there is a limitation. But you put a music video or something, my, my film which you may show here, America, America, it went all over the world. Uh, just through uh, YouTube. So you can communicate to the whole world, but if you use the gun, you can only communicate to this distance. You can kill. But the consciousness, what is film doing ultimately is to capture the consciousness. What maybe Chomsky would say, manufacture the consciousness. You, you manufacture the consciousness of people. That's what the entire political system is all about. You know, I, as a magician, filmmaker, filmmaker is called, the cinema is called Magic Lantern. You know. Why is it that Lumiere brothers, when they first made the film, doc it was a documentary, and it was clean up, it's idiotic, it's 16 frames per second at that time, black and white, it cannot be even called real. You can't call, you can't call it real. And a train is coming like this, the audience like you are running away from the hall, because you feel that image is reality. Look at the stupidity of that. Any child today of five year old has better sense now. They won't run away because they are seeing it in the mobile. But it happened. Why? Because there is a magic in it at that time. The shape of the magic transformed with technology all the time and all that. The magic. So, uh, this magic, if you say it's real, it's real. If it is not real, it is not real. What is the, what is the relationship with, with this magic and reality is what determines our lives. It determines our lives in a major way, you know. Uh, I don't want to take much of your time, but I'll, I'll give you a few examples. There was a, a, a 
four people, youngsters of your age, were caught in uh, Bangalore, where I'm staying, uh, for raping girls and murdering. And uh, they raped a lot of girls and murdered them. The police caught them and they uh, found, uh, uh, asked them questions and all that. Then they uh, disclosed how they were inspired. They were inspired by a Kamala Hassan film called Red Roses, where Kamala Hassan as a hero was a rapist who consistently raped women and murdered them and uh, kind of uh, dumped them in his garden. So they wanted to become Kamala Hassan and they raped and murdered and all that. All I'm saying is I am one incident, I can tell you hundreds of incidents of this kind. The gruesome nature of cinema that we are confronting. This is a responsible business actually. So what is the consciousness that these four boys got? What? Through cinema, they got a cinema, you can rape women, girls and murder them. Like Kamala Hassan. Uh, in in uh, Tamil, it's called Shivapur Rojakal, and he was a good director of the commercial times called Varun Raja at that time. He made a good, good film called uh, Padinaru Vaidari. It is a good film. Kamala Hassan and Tri Devi had acted in it actually. But this, he made this film also. Uh, so, and I, I can tell you a number of stories in the history of cinema where the negative framework of consciousness has taken place. I can also tell you a number of uh, stories where the positive sides have also taken place. But that needs a lot of time and space and I may take hours on it. But where do you travel? How do you look at your present existence through cinema or through any art? and travel ahead with certain positive values. That's uh, what is the uh, real question actually. It is not the craft that you learn. The craft anybody can learn actually. It's not a big thing. You like sambar, making sambar or chicken curry, nothing else. You know? And don't get worried about it. If you want to operate the camera, it takes around three hours to learn to operation of camera. But if you want to learn filmmaking, it may take years. You can make a film in one day and edit it. You want to make a good film, it's a different question. This is the most struggle inside. You know, that inside struggle is different. Right? But each time you make a film, you learn. You learn from every film. I asked a production controller, his name is Seven Arts Mohan. He uh, at that time, he has worked with all. Uh, uh, see, for a director, it's very easy. I made three feature films, and I know that the actor, however famous the actor is, if you ask him to jump, he has to jump because I am the director of the film. He has to jump. If, you, if I ask him to run, he has to run. Otherwise, shot won't take place. That power of control is there. It's a very dictatorial business. There's no democracy in it. If you think it's a democratic act, sorry. Because you don't have time. Time means money. If I argue with a camera person and say this shot, that shot, it doesn't matter. I say this and it doesn't that. You may say something, but finally everybody knows that you are the director of the authority and it goes. You have to do it sharp, fast. This is a dictatorial business act. You know, it's not, it doesn't have much of a democracy in it. And if you expect democracy, sorry, filmmaking is not the right medium. There are hierarchy, very clear hierarchies in it. 